I'm so sad. I don't sad. know where to start. <laughs> Can I touch it? We fall down, <laughs> but we get up. talk about food, eat bomb food, and talk about whatever else is on my mind. So today I have a very special guest. His name is Leonard. He is the founder of the Overcame Foundation, nonprofit organization, and an international motivational speaker. So here's Leonard. Leno is here, you guys. I'm so happy you're here. You don't you don't even understand. Like I'm the honored. honestly, I'm like honored. the way we even met, I remember that we were just talking about the first time we spoke. We was on FaceTime for like two hours instantly. Yep. Instantly. I had never like really met him, but I heard of him through a friend and we're like, she was like, listen, you guys should really just <laughs> work together, do something. <laughs> yes. And we ended up just talking. So crazy. But anyways. Do you have any idea what we're making today? Actually, I do. <laughs> Actually, I do. Of course he does. Uh, I think we're making today is the Overkings <laughs> Special Squash. And we got this ingredient. Beautiful squash. Beautiful, beautiful squash. Beautiful. Look at the inside, the she way. She actually planted it. I actually planted it. I actually. <laughs> and with this squash, we're going to make our special Emphasis on special. Very special. Always special. Squash. And that's all I'm going to give you. I have no idea what we're making, but I know it's called the Overkings Special. Special. Yes. Squash. So, to be more specific, we're making spaghetti and meat sauce. Wow. Yes. Spaghetti and meat sauce. So, we have the squash here. I just want to kind of emphasize how beautiful this squash really is. I just, what I love. Yeah. Yes, what I love about vegetables and fruits is the fact that it will it will look like different parts of the body or it will be like very feminine. Like this looks like a woman. Like this is beautiful. Like this is literally from mother nature and I love that. So, we're going to actually make spaghetti out of this, like noodles. Noodles out of this. Yes. We're making noodles out of this. It's spaghetti squash. So, with these ingredients here, we're going to be making the meat sauce. I'm just go ahead and get started with you, y'all. So for the spaghetti squash and walnut meat sauce, we won't be using any wheat or flour-based noodles. We'll be utilizing the fruits and veggies of the earth. For the noodles, we'll be roasting spaghetti squash for about 30 to 40 minutes, first pulling out all of the seeds and coating it with coconut oil, filling it with four cloves of minced garlic, pink Himalayan salt, and black pepper to taste. For the ground walnut meat in a food processor, we will pulse one cup of mushrooms sliced, a half a cup of raw walnuts, one tablespoon of coconut aminos, which is similar to soy sauce, a half a teaspoon of paprika, and one fourth teaspoon of crushed red peppers. For the actual tomato sauce, we will first, in one tablespoon of grapeseed oil, saute one tablespoon of minced garlic and a half of a cup of chopped onions for about three to five minutes. Then we will add in two cups of diced tomatoes, one teaspoon of oregano, pink Himalayan salt, black pepper to taste, two sprigs of thyme, and about a third of a cup of water. We'll let this simmer for about 15 minutes and then we'll add in our ground walnut meat mixture and you'll see how it literally turns into meat sauce. I'm so excited, but I really want the audience to kind of get to know you a little bit, okay? How did you, do you remember the day you got the vision for Overcame? Like this guy has a non- 
nonprofit organization and it's just so rare to find a young person who's just so passionate about helping people especially the youth mm -hmm. and not to be sexist but a man too you know like he's very rare and I really want to kind of dig into his brain how do you remember when you got the vision I always had the vision of overcame mm -hmm. but you know my neighborhood is called the O from 6th Street we call our neighborhood the O mm -hmm. and um we always, always call He's it, from Philly. Yeah, I'm from West Philadelphia. Yes. Born and raised. But, um, really what it was, it was just like, I had, I had, I had a huge influence on my neighborhood. If I was playing basketball, everybody was playing basketball. We were throwing parties. Everyone was throwing parties. Mm -hmm. And, and what happened was, I went to church Easter Sunday and, you know, I felt God just talking to me like, yo, Leonard, I want you to do something. But I want you to do something by touching the kids in our neighborhood. I want to pause you right there because a lot of people talk about when God tells them something. Mm -hmm. And many people are confused that, as to how that is. Is it a voice speaking to you? Is it a feeling? Can you explain how you received it? Well, I would like to say it was a bit of a... It was both. Uh, I just felt, you know, the doctor more just talking to me. And I just felt like... I felt moved, you know, I felt moved. At this so time, your spirit was moved yeah, when you got this? My, my spirit was moved, you know, it just like, what I represented in my neighborhood and when God gave me the call, it was like a total transformation. Okay. So, in here, okay. we're about to make the meat sauce. with. We have mushrooms and there's walnuts. No meat, though. There's no meat. Gotcha. So, I'm just going to pulse it and you're going to look, it's going to look like beef crumbles. So, you, you guys are just going to, just watch. And that's called pulse. Yes, so we're pulsing right now. So this is a food processor that I'm using. And it doesn't take long to use, to make. So already it's kind of resembling like... Like ground beef. Yes, ground like ground beef. beef. So these are nuts and mushrooms. Like what? I'm going to just pulse it just a little bit more. But hey, back to the question. Right? Yes. It, it, this was like... It was just like a weird feeling because I haven't been to church in so long and, you know, me and my friend Dan decided to go. Mm -hmm. That Easter Sunday? Yeah, that Easter Sunday. And then uh, after that Easter Sunday, I called uh, the co-founder, Jay Harper. And I was mm -hmm. like, yo, Jay, I got this idea. And Jade is the co-founder. Jade is the co-founder. And um, she just fell in love with it and, you know, she really believed in the idea. And, um, you know, she put her, she put time into it and also she put capital into it. And, mm -hmm. you know, because it was an investment, you know, mentally and also in, in your pockets. So, yes. And I just thank God for her. And ever since then, you know, you know, it has grown, grown me into someone that I had no idea I would be. You know? Right. Um, you know, Do you just, feel like this is your calling? Yes, I, I feel like I feel like this is a, this is a part of the calling. You know. Um, I like that. This is a part of the calling. I, I like the fact that you recognize that you're more than this. Yeah. Like, this is bigger than you. I love that. Yeah, I, love I love surprising my own yeah. self when I tap into my own personal power. Mm -hmm. That we are all, we all have access to. It's just a matter of us tapping into it. Right. So I want to kind of tell you what's happening right now. So okay. we have some garlic in here and some onion. It smells amazing. And we're just going to let this brown a little bit and we're going to add our tomato sauce. So we're literally making like tomato sauce right now. Okay. So. And it's garlic. Garlic, onion, onions. and diced tomatoes. And I have some basil and oregano that and I'm going to add. And we diced the tomatoes ourselves. So this I actually got canned. Okay. It's 100% organic. Gotcha. Um, just diced tomatoes, regular diced tomatoes. Just for the sake of time, I kind of want these recipes for people to be easy for them to do and not take too long. So I made it so that you don't have to chop tomatoes. You can kind of just get a can, make sure it's organic, make sure, you know, it's, it doesn't have any salt. So, cause you want to add your own salt. I only use pink Himalayan salt, so I'd rather add my own. So I'm just going to have two sprigs of thyme in this. And oh my goodness, you guys. I got a basil plant for the first time. Super excited. I'm going to start my indoor garden. I'm excited. I got this basil plant. I'm about to go grab it for you guys and show you what it looks like. I'm so sad about this. 
I got this three days ago. I need wow. someone to please tell me how to take care of a basil plant. Somebody, please. I love, why does it, like, come on? I'm so sad. I spent time with it. I speak to my plants because. What do you say to it? Good morning, you're beautiful. Aww. They're my friends and I treat them as such. I'm so sad about this, but yeah, if anyone knows how to take care of basil, let me know, cause this is not okay. Wow. I'm still gonna use it though. <laughs> All right, so now we're about to add in our walnut mushroom meat sauce. Oh my gosh, wait, we need to put on goggles. This is a science experiment. Hold on, why we gotta put goggles on? Because we're making meat out of nuts. Say no more. <laughs> this reminds what's that uh what's that what's that uh TV show when they used to get on the bus? The magic school bus? Oh my gosh. I'm not them on that. You guys, it's this, really happening. This is a fashion statement. Absolutely. <laughs> Let me wash my hand. But I want you to Really here. I'm so you trusting you. This? I'm trusting you with that. Use use the yes, use your tool. You just made walnut meat sauce. Walnut meat sauce. Walnut meat sauce. This is this is amazing. Yes. So you can just mix that up. Whatever. We gotta get all this. Yes. No, we, we don't waste food around this. here. Never mm -hmm. ever. Never ever. Like, I feel like the food is talking to me now. Yes. At this point, the food... Is, yeah, I took off my to goggles. Me. He's he's the one that's really working right now. The food is speaking to him. This is Mother Nature communicating. Hold on, what are you saying? Yeah, you hear him? Communication. Communication. Okay. He's putting in love as Mother Nature gives him love back. This is a relationship. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> still using it I don't care it still smells incredible it's still full of life to me so I'm still using it Aww. yes it's my friend I didn't even get to name it like I wow just pop that right on top beautiful and some salt and pepper to taste and I always say to taste because it really is up to you how much salt and pepper you want. I don't want to kind of limit you and tell you exactly you have to put this much. It really is up to you. Everybody's taste buds are different. So a lot of people probably see me like use my hands a lot when I'm working in the kitchen. I literally have a relationship with food. Like I like really getting into it. Like my hands are clean. I wash my hands, but I'd rather use my hands and like really, you know, stay connected to the food then like use utensils mm -hmm. i don't care I, you know like i just just get in it dig deep like really just touch and feel it like <laughs> yes yes that's how we do it yes this is how we do it we really Same use thing. our hands use our fingers yes and be just take as much as you want but we're really just coating the squash with the oil and then we're gonna put our salt and pepper and our garlic in there and just let this roast for about 30 minutes. I like that. So every time I cook, I'm gonna crush the food. Yes. Even, yes. When, I, even when I make oozy moves. Absolutely. Why not? Come I'm on. Gonna crush. It's a it's a relationship. Because it's really going in your body. So exactly. You have to, so you have to give it love and then you'll receive love back. Like you really have to have a relationship with it. What exactly do you do with Overcame? You know, the, the answer is, you know, we, we're the backbone for dreams and inner cities, um, for communities that, you know, I grew up in. You know, I grew up in West Philadelphia, mm -hmm. um, PHE home, this is like a Philadelphia housing authority. Right now, we've been doing a lot of speaking. Um, I think God has uh, sent me on us on this this path to really just share our stories and really inspire our people. And growing up, you know, with the lack of
resources and things, you normalize things that are not normal. Mm -hmm. You know, I say... Uh, and become numb. Yeah, you become numb to the environment. So things in my, in my past, you know, I thought it was normal. And, uh, you know, I, in, in the recent speech, I talk about the, de -more, the, the dehumanizing of a black male in inner cities. You know, we... Our norm is not reality to many Americans mm -hmm. across the globe. And, you know, you know, I thought it was the only one way out. You know, my first role model was people on the block, you know. I seen them with the nice cars, the nice clothes. And that's what I wanted, you know. And when I got it, you know, it was like, what does this mean? And what does this do for the people that's coming out to me? Right. And in order to make this spaghetti, we kind of just have to pull it apart. Oh, wow. How dope no. is this? We just made spaghetti, you guys. No. Literally spaghetti. No. And meat sauce. Yes. Yes. Yo. Yes. We did it. No, like seriously. Yes. Yo. You were here to witness this. And this is literally from the ground. Like this mother nature creates this. Like I need people to understand that we get inspiration from Mother Nature. God gives us this. Yo, these look like noodles. That's exactly. Where do you think noodles came from? Hello? Right here. So now we're going to just get a nice, large. This is the perfect time for like this to eat like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my dead basil still serving me. It's alive in my heart. Mm. Yes, just like that. So you already know I feed all my guests because I just got to make sure you get a little bit of everything. Got some basil in here. This is the walnut meat sauce with mushrooms that we made with spaghetti out of squash. Oh, that mercy. Yes, yes, yes. It's She's really playing with <laughs> It's really hot. I'm over there drooling. <laughs> I like doing this to people. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> How do you feel right now? I need a bite. Let me, let me. Just really take this in. Wow. Yes. How do you feel? How does this make you feel? How are the flavors? They like bouncing. Go, go like this? No, no, I'm gonna see that for later. <laughs> <laughs> wow, like honestly, it like it, it like bounces off like everything right now. Like it's just like I don't know, this is really good. You really can't tell the difference. Like this tastes a little bit better than spaghetti. Mm-hmm. And it tastes clean, if you know what I mean. Yes, like it's clean. you're not gonna be bloated after this. Yeah. How do you like the noodles specifically? The noodles are really good. They're like buttery. They're buttery. Buttery. It has me stuttering. <laughs> and that's how you know food. Leno doesn't stutter. This is like... Different. Different, y'all. Different. Different, y'all. <laughs> so at the end of every episode, we end with a Polaroid picture. So are you ready to save this moment? Yes. Get your last bite. I bite. Right here. Oh. We gotta take it here, though. But well, where did you get that from? Chill. Are you sure you're gonna be able to get me? Oh my gosh, you're so tall. You're gonna have to come down. Make sure you don't have nothing in your teeth and your beard. Uh. Yeah, you good. Ready? Say oh, vegan yeah, cheese. On, on. <laughs> you gotta stand on the stool. Oh my gosh. I'm like really tall. You're like 5'2". I'm 5'1". And guess what? I don't care. There we go. Yes. Ready? Say vegan cheese. Vegan cheese.